what's up youtube today we are back with another video it's your girl lay in this video i'm gonna show y'all how to pass your cdo permit test on the very first try it only took me a week with this method continue watching the video and we're gonna get right into it stay tuned All right, y'all, let's get straight into this video. Okay, it only took me one week, one week of this method for me to pass the first try. What it tell you to do is to read the whole CEO manual book front to back and memorize the whole thing. And who really wants to do that? Who really wants to do that? I didn't. Get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with studying from the book. Study the best way for you. But for me personally, I would rather go the more simple route. So during the time I had to study and prepare for my test, I was really nervous. I'm not going to lie. If you guys are feeling nervous, it's okay. It's normal. But the method I'm finna give you right now will really boost your confidence. Like I said, I studied for a week and I passed the first try. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, first, I'm going to tell you guys the process. Each state has their own qualifications. For my case, I'm in Georgia. So, of course, in Georgia, you have to be at least 18 years old to take your CDO permit test. You'll also need to bring on your test date, your proof of residency, your ID, your social security, and along with $60. So the CDO permit test consists of three parts, general knowledge, combinations, and air breaks. You will have to take all three of these sections together in order to pass. The test is also multiple choice and the passing score is at 80. If you take advantage of this method, you will make 100% easily. But it really don't matter what you make. All we're trying to do is get the CDO permit. Okay, now it's time for the sauce. The method I use is simple. What I did was use three apps. These three apps helped me pass my test in a week. I'm not saying you have to study for only a week. Study however long you need until you feel like you're more than ready on each section. I'm also going to show you how to know if you're really ready. Okay, so first go on your phone and go to your app store. Now search up CDL prep. When you search CDL prep, you will see multiple apps. Okay, the first app you're looking for is called CDO Prep with a blue icon. This blue icon with the steering wheel is the first one you need to download. So download that one first. After you download that one, you will see a red icon and the name is CDO Prep by Coco. Download that one. Okay, the last test is called DMV Genie. So DMV Genie is like a purplish with a shield on it. What you're going to do when you find it is, of course, download it. Okay, after you got these three apps right here, I have mine in a folder. And these are the three apps you need to pass the test. Okay. Every single question and answer in these apps was on my test. I'm telling you, like the answers was literally on my test. There was no question that I did not see that was not on here. So I advise you to study thoroughly. Okay. When you go to CDL prep, you see you have general knowledge, combinations, and air breaks. These are the three you need to take your CDL permit test. So we'll first start with general knowledge. Okay. Click practice mode. In this mode, it has 240 questions. Each time you take it, you can switch the questions around, get new questions, you get what I'm saying? I advise you to do this every day on your free time. Do this every day on your free time. Try to study all the questions multiple times, switch it up, do it again, do it again, do it again. Keep doing that, man. All these answers are on your test. So the more you memorize it, the more you get the hang of it, man, you're going to pass your test easily, I'm telling you. Same thing for combinations. Practice mode. It's 65 questions. Do those multiple times until you get everything down pat. Okay. Same for air breaks. Do the same thing. So when you feel like you have practice mode down pat, go ahead and go to exam mode. They will give you a test and they're going to grade you on it. So I advise you to keep taking tests until you start having higher and higher scores. And once you continue to see those high scores on every single section, you may be ready for your test. Okay. Now we have CDL prep with the red icon. So when you get on here, click your state. I'm in Georgia, so I'm going to click Georgia. So as you can see, it also has general knowledge, air brakes right here, and combinations. So make sure, man, you have these three down pat. You see that it has levels, you get what I'm saying? So once you pass level one, it's going to send you level two, so on, so on, so on. And that's a good way to learn. And this app is really cool. If you click the bottom right, you can create your own test. So say you want to do general knowledge, click general knowledge. You can choose how many questions you want. You can choose how many mistakes you allow yourself to miss. Like, you can create your own test. You get what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. You get what I'm saying? So, you can do that. You get the answer right. If you get the answer wrong, it'll tell you. So, yeah, the app is pretty cool. You get what I'm saying? So, all I got to say is study these apps. You're not going to pass if you come on these apps for two seconds and hop off and don't come back home for three more days. Like, 
You're not going to pass your test. You have to study effectively and efficiently. Okay, so the last one is DMVG. So now you're going to select your country, your state. You're going to select CDL. All right. When it asks you what exams you need, of course, you need general knowledge, air breaks, and combination. You can skip that. You can skip. Okay, man. DMV Genie is a cool app also. You click general knowledge, and they're going <clears> to <throat> take you to a general knowledge practice test. So all I got to say is play around with these three apps. I'm telling you, these three apps will help you pass first try. First try. As long as you study, you will pass, guaranteed. You passing is on you and how much you decide to put your time in and study. So like I said, I advise you to study every day on your free time. Go through the apps, answer some questions, do the practice mode, take the exam modes, continue to do that every single day. You'll start memorizing the questions and answers. You become more confident. As you continue to make high scores, that's when you know you're going to be comfortable with the material. And that's when you know you'll be ready to take your CDL permit. So after you study, you can go up to the DMV and then tell them you want to take your CDL permit test. So provide them with all the documents I said prior, and then they'll give you a ticket and you'll sit down and wait for the number to be called. Then they will proceed to take you to the computer in the back. You're going to take your test. Make sure you read each question thoroughly because you'll be studying. Those questions are going to be very familiar to you. But I hope this video helped, man. Thank you guys for watching. Our next video is my experience at Swift CDL Academy. So if you're looking for a CDS school, I advise you to go watch my video. I'm going to provide my experience and show y'all what to expect when you go to your CDL school and what you should be looking for when picking a CDL school. So go ahead and watch my video. It should be up right here. So if you guys have any more questions, comment down below. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more trucking content. I'm going to be dropping bangers all year, so stay tuned. So I'm going to see y'all in the next one. I'm out.